Good morning guys. Ugh, my hair is a mess. <laughs> I am up in Adam and I am doing my new favorite thing ever, which is making clothes. I just finished. Oh my gosh. I just finished this whack hoodie for Pamela. She requested burgundy with gold lettering. Ooh, and it came out so nice. Oh my goodness. Pam, this is coming to you in the mail sometime this week. <laughs> I got a busy week coming up. Oh, I'm only getting married on Monday, you know, but hey, I love making these shirts and I am committed to getting a whole bunch of them out before the wedding. Don't forget, if you want your own whack hoodie or your own ketosis shirt, if you've been watching me over on my other channel, you can go to www.watchautumnketo.com and put in an order. I am on a roll right now. Oh, yes I am. <laughs> So I'm just gonna be making these for a little bit. I'm about to have some zip fizz and then I have to exercise. I got to burn all the calories before the wedding. <laughs> but right now I'm having too much fun doing this. So I'm gonna get back to it and then I will check in with my zip fizz. Okay guys, it's almost time for me to work out. Today I am doing Les Mills Shabam. I'm in the mood to dance. But before I do their dance, I gotta do my own little dance, which is, you guessed it, the Zip Fizz Shake. And today I am having, bam! Oh my God, you guys, the law of attraction is real. Oh my gosh, I literally thought, I'm probably gonna draw an orange today. Like, you guys just don't understand. I was gonna pick two because I knew one was probably gonna be orange. That is crazy. I can't. I cannot. I'm gonna drink this even though, as you might have heard, orange has definitely slipped down to my least favorite flavor. I even like grape better. Ugh. But I mean, I really don't hate this per se. And honestly, I don't feel like going back upstairs to get another one. So I'm gonna drink this one. Got my hashtag wax swag also available on the website. All right, guys, let's get ready to shake it in three, two, one. <laughs> to having a good rest of the week, to having a good next week, to the big changes coming up in my life that I'm really excited about, and to accomplishing our goals and making ourselves proud. It's not bad. Don't hate it. Do not love it. You guys, the echo in here, echo. The echo in here is super strong because my mom has been cleaning up the basement, getting ready for the wedding, and she moved a whole bunch of stuff out of it, and now there's nothing to absorb the sound. The echo. Thanks, mom. Milton, 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 sit, Hello. sit, sit. I'm Maddie Angel. Get away from me, Maddie. Come on. Sit. Stop chomping at me. Oh no. Oh no. Sit. Oh, Milton. Okay guys, like, I always make the mistake of like sitting down at my work computer and being like, oh, I'll just check some emails, you know, right before it's time to go live. And then I like realize that there's emergencies going on. And then I'm just like, I can't get up, I can't get up. So now I am glued to my computer to try to put out fires until it's time to go live at nine o'clock. While I'm sitting here, at least I'm gonna have some cello wisps. So I'm just gonna figure out all the riffraff going on. Uh, and uh, the day's already started. Yay! So I actually went to the store and bought a funnel for my uh, protein or my collagen to go into my coffee mug because I would end up getting the collagen powder everywhere. So <laughs> we went to like the automotive section of Meyer, and I was like, I'm just gonna get me a funnel and uh it's actually working very very well this coffee is like chocolate caramel brownie okay now comment here and comment down below do y'all really be tasting the flavor differences in these coffee like salted caramel chocolate brownie mint whatever like it all in my opinion tastes like coffee so like i don't know i, I bought it because it had the word chocolate on it so i guess it did its job but i do not taste chocolate brownie okay so i taste coffee that's about it <laughs> well coffee 
and chocolate milk, uh, almond milk, and heavy whipping cream, and butter, uh, and stevia, because that's what I actually put into it. Like, not because you're telling me that the coffee is supposed to taste like a chocolate brownie. I'm not buying it. Hi, honey buns. How are you doing? Thank you. Oh, he's trying to help me by pouring more water in my pour over. You guys, he cut his hair for the wedding. This is his wedding hair right now. Like, <laughs> I'm gonna marry a man that looks exactly like this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah. Um, let's see. Let me see, honey buns. Uh, a little bit more. Thank you. Bird says, uh, good morning, Autumn. Um, do you put Richard on the spot? I know he loves it. He loves the attention. Baby, what did you do? I'm going to put too much. Oh, my gosh. It overflowed. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's a slight my one. gosh. Oh, honey buns. This is one of those times where it's like you got to accept the help. You know, like, that's, um... Well, that, you said go more. I said it was finished. That's so marriage for you. Like, when they offer to help and then they just ruin it. Coffee round two was a success. I made it on my own, and alas, there was no overflow. So I'm having some string cheese, and then also I'm working on my Zip Fizz. So basically, I drank half the Zip Fizz, and then I just filled it back up with water again, and then this is the remaining half. So I'll probably fill this back up with ice and drink this whole thing, uh, and then I am looking forward to lunch. Okay guys, I got this uh, massive log <laughs> of ground beef. This is three pounds right here. This is just your run-of-the-mill 80-20 ground beef from Meyer. Now if you know anything about me, you know that I usually like grass-fed, you know, highest quality. But since I'm just going to be eating a ton of this this week, I decided to go with quantity over quality. <laughs> and this is just conventional ground beef. And I mean, honestly, there ain't nothing wrong with that, okay? Eating regular keto, in my opinion, is still better than eating the standard American diet, even if you have to use all conventional ingredients. And seeing as this was a third of the price of what it would have been to buy the grass-fed version of this, like, ain't no shame in my game. I'm not a beef snob. I'm an egg snob, but I ain't a beef snob. So I'm going to cook this down, put some of my homemade taco seasoning in it. You can find the recipe right there. Uh, and then this will be my main meal for the rest of the day. Hashtag meat log. Okay, and there we have it. A uh, big bowl of taco meat. I will never not love this. Mmm. So hot. <coughs> Delicious, fatty. Mmm. Salty, red peppery. Mmm. I did take one of these digestive enzymes. Where is the label? I don't know if they do anything, but you know, people were like, oh, you're eating a lot of meat. Take some digestive enzymes. So I did do that. Don't know if it's gonna help. I'm gonna have some lunch and then back to work. You are just so handsome. Can I just, can oh I, you guys, I'm not gonna lie. I paused and waited till we were on the camera to tell him that, but I'm looking at him through the lens right now and I'm just like, whoa, I got me one. Okay. No, but the reason that I actually brought us on here is because we uh, had a revelation today and we made a choice. Like, we decided that carnivore is stupid and that we're not gonna <laughs> do it anymore. <laughs> I'm serious, you guys, like, I've already had some granola, I've had a piece of chewing gum, and it's just the best I've felt in two weeks. So like, crazy. let's be honest, and he's not innocent in this whole thing because I told him on the phone before he got home from work, like, look, I quit carnivore, I don't want to do it anymore. He done stopped by the grocery store on the way home and just bought all his vegetables back. He was like, well, good. I bought some tomatoes. I bought some onions. Like, now that carnivore is done, we can stock up. You know, like. So I just he, ordered a salad. <laughs> it was a salad. So he was in it, too. Like, carnivore is not for us. We tried, you know, like. And not to mention, though, in the week we've been doing carnivore, he lost four pounds. Like, he was like, oh, by the way, I lost four pounds. Like, <laughs> ah. It really made me kind of go mental about the the deprivation, mm -hmm. you know, of certain food. Like, I was intentionally cutting out vegetables, cutting out sweets, you know, mm -hmm. things that I really found out 
help make the keto diet sustainable for me gotcha. and that was really putting me in a tough mental state hence like the many binges i've had over the last couple of days like you guys i ate a whole bag of high key granola i ate the rest of it <laughs> that, we put, it that we put at the top i took it back down and i ate it i know like and i really it's just mental it's like it just the feeling of that of being deprived really those, those just were good by the they, way. it was really, really really good i need to make an instagram post about how good the high key granola was the fact that i felt the need to like not only eat just a regular serving but just eat as much as possible because carnivore was stupid and i wanted all the sweet tasting you know like it just flips me from one extreme to another yeah, you know I could tell. so like I just needed to get to a place where I'm like, you know what? I need my taco tray. Yes, a pound of meat is delicious, but do you know what is also delicious? A bag of lettuce to go with it, <laughs> you know? So it's just like, I can't, like carnivore, no, you know? Well, I, I can say that I will 100% carry over on the, the pizza. The pizza. <laughs> Those are so you guys, nice. during carnivore, we did discover uh, microwave pizza, which is basically where you put a bunch of pepperonis on a plate and it's then your base your, your base yep and then you cover it with mozzarella cheese and then you just put that plate in the microwave for what 30 seconds to a minute mm -hmm. depending on the doneness of your cheese you I know like to preference. mix the cheese to a little parmesan oh a little, oh. little parmesan so we did discover that because you know meat cheese carnivore you know so we got some good things out of it but overall like we're a we're a meat and vegetable family you know so in that respect, today was a good day in that I realized that, but also I'm gonna post a gain on the scale. Like I ate a bag of granola. Like, ah, uh, you know, okay. thank you, honey buns. Okay. Like that was important for me to realize, but like, I just wanted to let you guys know cause I'm not doing carnivore the rest of the week. I, I cooked enough ground beef to last forever, right? So I am going to the store. We're going to the store. I'm buying a couple bags of lettuce. I am having taco tray every day until the wedding, okay? Like, that's just what I've decided. Okay, well, I mean, that's it. Like, I just wanted to, I had to get that off my chest. Like, if you've been watching me on my daily lives, you know that I've been struggling, but like, I just want to let you guys know, like, it's over. Carnivore, no more. You know what I'm saying? So, like, except the pizza. Ex <laughs> except the skillet pizza. Yeah. yeah, so there's that. Okay, everybody, we're heading out. Um, but, you know, thank you for joining me for this, no uh, you know, confession this important fun. time this in my life. Fun. Thank you I so much. It so much. Oh my gosh, look at that, you guys. Okay, well, we'll talk to you, you know, oot in a boot. We're in line at Burlington. See this garbage. Just drink coffee, people. Well, don't let Richard make it, but just drink coffee. Lucky for you, that's what I like. Okay, guys, we made an emergency trip to uh, Kroger so that I could get some lettuce. Like, it's real out here in these streets. Taco tray in full effect. And you know what I need? The taco tray. I need some bags of lettuce, so. We are back home. And my honey buns has made one of his new obsessions, the microwave skillet pizza. Tell us how it's done, Richard. Give us the quick recipe. Three simple ingredients. Uh-huh. Pepperoni. Pepperoni. Cheeses. Cheeses. And <laughs> pepperoni, cheeses, and red pepper flakes. Oh. And I'm assuming other assorted spices of your choice. Um, Look, Mill and Madeline, I can't get them to sit. Look at this. Look at this. And you're just going to put that in the microwave? Mm -hmm. And you're just going to have the adoring love and attention <laughs> from our dogs? That's a byproduct. Oh my god, you added a lot more cheese when I wasn't looking. The heck? Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yes. So yes. sneaky cheese. For one minute, you're good to go. And then you get that. Okay, so our stint with carnivore is over. We're getting back to business as usual, starting tomorrow. Comment down below. Do you do carnivore? Have you done carnivore? What are your thoughts? Like, how can I make it sustainable? As a person that loves vegetables and loves sweet tasting things, what advice would you have for me? Cause like, I just, this go around was not it. Well, I did lose four pounds. And I went in and I did lose four pounds. Okay, everyone. It worked okay for <laughs> Of course it did. Okay, everybody. Have a great day. The next time you watch a What I Eat Wednesday, we's gonna be married. So there's that. Okay, everybody. Uh, we will talk to you next week. Bye. Say Bye. Bye. Bye.